So guys, what we thought was good news coming from the Giants, the first good news that we thought was going to come from the G-Men from for a very long time, you know, going through these this whole pandemic situation and having DeAndre Baker's situation happen and Aldrick Rosa, so on and so forth. You know, it was refreshing for the Giants to come out with some good news that they signed, uh, that they were going to sign or planning to sign Ross Cockrell, who was formerly with the New York Giants. And I think everybody, for the most part, was in agreement that this was a needed move, and it was probably the best move the Giants could have made for a cornerback. But, <laughs> if you don't think anything could get worse, it does. The Giants' deal with, the, with Ross Cockrell fell through. They couldn't come to an agreement. And, you know, I had a feeling this was going to happen. Why? Because Ross Cockrell, in my opinion, whatever we would be paying him, he would be underpaid. I mean, he's been a solid starter for the majority of his career. He started the majority of his games by a long shot. And he, he missed 2018 due to a broken leg. But for the most part, he was a very solid option at cornerback and a very cheap one at that. I figured that maybe this is the year that he may want a pay increase. And I think the Giants would have been a bad team as a fit for him when it comes to financial uh, financially. Because... The Giants don't want to dish out too much money. The Giants are rumored to be around about seven to ten million dollars in cap uh, cap space right now, and so you would think that Ross Cockrell is kind of going to be signed for not more than three million dollars on a one-year deal. And to, in my honest opinion, that's underpaying Ross Cockrell by like half. I think he should probably get paid six, seven million dollars a year, um, just because of how solid he is. And yes. He missed 2018 due to a broken leg, but for the most part, he's been healthy throughout his career and has started and has helped secondaries throughout their career. You know, Pittsburgh has struggled <clears throat> throughout the years with secondary, and he was able to pitch in. He pitched in with us, and he also helped out the Carolina Panthers when they needed a second cornerback in there. Um, so, you know, I thought this was a great move, you know, him being opposite James Bradbury uh, last year, and I thought this would be a great move, and Ross Cocker will be a perfect number two option. But breaking news Ross Cocker is not going to sign with the New York Giants. Now, I don't know why they broke this news. If they break this news and say they couldn't come to an agreement, that means they're, there's probably not going to be an agreement. They probably said, okay, we're going our separate ways. Good luck in the future. Um, so I probably don't see Ross Cockrell agreeing to a deal with the Giants anytime soon. Um, he, Ross Co we just let Ross Cockrell slip from our hands. Now, the Giants should have seen this coming. I don't know why somebody leaked it. <clears throat> somebody in the Giants organization leaked that, you know, or maybe it was Ross Cockrell's agent that he was planning to sign with the Giants. Um, I don't know who leaked it, but the Giants should have known that he was probably going to want bigger money, and Ross Cockrell should have known just basic research would tell you that they're not in any position to spend too much money. So um, that being said, guys, that is uh, the news. I'm currently editing a video right now, top six. Oh, man, I'm not even going to say the name of the video. So it's, it's a New York Giants video. I think it's going to be a banger video. You guys are going to love it. So uh, that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.